Hey, what's going on guys? Brian here, Brian's All Made, and so trust you guys are all doing well. Hey, wanted to talk to you guys for just two or three quick minutes here. This is gonna be a short, sweet, simple vlog, but there's something I wanna talk to you guys that's really been on my mind, kind of two parts. Number one, I just wanted to rant for a quick second about PPE. Now, I watch a lot of your guys' videos, I watch a lot of you guys on Instagram, and I really, really, really enjoy interacting with all of you guys. But one thing, this is just a little PSA, nobody uh, is inclined to listen to what I have to say uh, by any means but I will tell you this please start wearing more PPE um, I know it kind of goes without saying to some of the veterans out there in the lawn and landscape industry we all know the importance of hearing protection uh, safety glass protection and boots quality shoes and work boots I know there's uh, a lot of people that shoot video a lot of people that are on Instagram doing work and you know what I'm not gonna do a huge lengthy rate here but do me a big favor a personal favor um, I, I don't take this kind of stuff for granted yes we're in business to make money yes we're in business to make profit but almost any company you'll listen to and talk to and work for always starts every day with a safety training speech and it's always we want you to come back with everything attached everything working and so you can go home and enjoy your families right and so before I get into my second point with uh, this video on a, a much more fun and lighter topic I wanted to just say a quick video a uh, quick message to you guys especially you get younger guys 15 to 20 years old that think you're invincible please start wearing more PPE if I happen to watch a another YouTube video of somebody cutting grass and tennis shoes I'm gonna I'm gonna lose it you know what I mean so and I say this with love I'm not trying to be mean or put down anybody or or single anybody out I'm just hey you know what there's a, a large audience that watches the channel and if I can have two three four five ten thousand of you guys and watch this and go hey you know what I've been thinking about going getting some Red Wings boots or some Carhartt this or uh, some DeWalt safety glasses please go to Home Depot Lowe's and your local dealer go invest in some good PPE we're gonna finish out May here a lot of you guys that build monthly kind of like I do you'll have a pretty large influx of cash and cla uh, cash flow a lot of us are getting paid from our cleanups and our mulch jobs so do me a big favor go throw a hundred hundred fifty two hundred dollars down you know what do me a big favor maybe some of you guys don't know what's available out there leave a comment down below what kind of work boots you guys wear where do you guys get them or where do you guys buy your safety equipment okay whether it's Amazon whether it's a Walmart don't really know don't really care but you know leave a comment down below there's no right or wrong answer is what I'm trying to say uh, I me mean, personally I wear Red Wings boots I think they're the four four twos or the four thirties, something like that, whatever. Okay. That's just my standard work boot that I like wearing, but guys get some quality work boots, get some quality shoes, safety glasses, and some head cans. The three M ones are great. The work tunes, obviously ISO tunes pro. A lot of you guys have been using the ISO tunes pro affiliate link where I think I earn like five bucks. If you guys buy them. Okay. Whoop de freaking do. I don't, I'm not here to plug product to just make money. I'm here to plug product to help you guys and to keep you safe out there because if it helps me, I guarantee it can help you. Okay. So end rant, okay, hashtag end rant. I'm just trying to have some fun here. But guys, seriously, it's a super important topic. When you're working out there, make sure you're wearing your PPE. Uh, full length uh, t-shirts and uh, long sleeve shirts if you can. I know it's gonna get hot, the sun comes out. Take that stuff off after about noon forward. But guys, sunscreen, PPE, wear the, uh, the do-rags, I don't even know what you call them, the, you know, the little rags that go on your neck. And, uh, and take care of yourself, man. Take care of your skin, your hearing, and uh, your eyes. The safety glasses, for the love of God, guys, come on. So all that being said, and rent. I'm just moving on. But PPE, this is for the younger guys out there. All you guys I watch on Instagram, love ya. But hey, let's make sure you only get one set of these guys, okay? So until they know how to replace eyeballs uh, medically, then let's make sure we're protecting them as much as we can, all right? Point number two I wanted to talk to you guys about. This one is a little bit different kind of a topic, and I wanted to just maybe share with you guys some long-term perspective, okay? And this is a topic about being a pillar in the community. And this isn't like gloating or self-loathing or anything like that where I'm talking about myself. I'm talking about you guys. One thing I want you guys to know is that when you're doing good work out there, and your name starts spreading, you'll have this compounding effect, this exponentialism to your business. And you know what? It takes a few years to get there, okay? I'm just gonna shoot you straight. It takes time to grow a business and to have that happen in your community. But once it does, things will get gangbusters, things will start growing, and it's gonna be all word of mouth. But it's a double-edged sword because here's what I wanna tell you. Fast forward two, three, five, ten 10 years, and now you're the name around town. And one thing I wanna talk to you guys about is staying classy, being respectful, and treating people right. 
In fact, I had somebody trolling me on a previous video saying that I am kind of a butthole uh, on some of my videos when I talk to some of my clients. In fact, it couldn't be further than the opposite from the truth. Uh, honestly, I am probably the nicest guy you have ever met. I am a teddy bear. I'm a softy, okay? Most of you guys know that I read the comments, I interact with you guys, I cut up with you. If you guys, hey, why do you wear your sunglasses? I'm like, because it's at night. Like, I wear my, okay, so I like having fun with you guys. But what I'm trying to say is that with my long customers and in the community, guys, you got to be nice out there. You got to be first class with people. And the reason is you're a pillar in the community. Eventually, the goal is you're going to have a larger company. And if you're out uh, doing bad work or, you know, being a butthole to somebody, that's going to get to the neighbor, to the neighbor's neighbor, and it's just bad business. Let's take it a step further. Maybe you're out to eat with your wife or you're out there with your family and you're at a restaurant and maybe the server out there, uh, you know, is just overwhelmed. She got a quadruple sat. My wife did serving, so I know how this goes where they got three tables all sat at once and they're just crazy busy and they can't keep up. But you know what? You have a really poor dining experience and you end out chewing, uh, you end up chewing out the server or something like that. What you may or may not know is that the table right across from you may be the president of an HOA. It might be a long client or customer of yours and you didn't know that and you chewed somebody out and you know what? You look like a fool in public and what happens is that there's more people around you in your community than you would imagine that sees you, that sees your vehicles, that sees you cutting people off, flicking people off, honking your horn, being a jerk at restaurants, right? And I would just encourage you guys, this is some long-term perspective. Something that I learned way back when was always treat people right, apologize for your mistakes, do the best you can to shore things up, and take care of people. Because, um, you know, as a prime example, there's many long customers of mine that I have had for a decade that I have never seen. They send the check, the check cashes, they uh, pay me, uh, the, uh, hire me to do work, I do the work, and you know, we've never met. And there's an old staple example. My wife and I were actually at a BP gas station. I was getting gas and I jumped out of the truck and uh, my wife and I, thank God this time, right? Because we argue, okay? We're regular people, okay? We have arguments and stuff, but we, we try to keep it upbeat and positive pretty quick. And you know what? I apologize profusely, right? Because I'm a bonehead a lot of the times. And I remember jumping out of the truck in this one example. So I'm at the gas station. I jump out of the truck, right? And this guy next to me at the pump goes, Brian? And I go, uh, yeah, hey, I'm, I'm Brian. Brian's law maintenance. How's it going? He goes, hey, I'm George. And I'm like, George, I'm like, I know a lot of Georges, I'm sorry. And he goes, and he says his last name and I go, holy cow, George. And he goes, yeah, he goes, dude, we, I've been a customer of yours for like a decade and like nine years. And I go, holy cow, I didn't even know you existed, man. What's going on, brother? I shook his hand. I was like, dude, so what's your life story? How you doing? What's this? What's that? Dude, I had done $10,000 worth of business with this guy over the last decade. Never met him. All he did was send checks and I did work. But you know what? Imagine if I was having a knockout drag out with my wife. By the way, I'm not saying I'm being fake. My wife and I argue. You guys, your guys a wife and girl and your husband and boyfriend, right? You guys argue, okay? We're just keeping it real. But at the end of the day, I want to let you guys know that you gotta treat people right. You've gotta uh, act like a proper business owner in the community. You gotta have standards and be nice and be genuine out there and keep a good name. And if you're out there chewing out lost servers, if you're out there chewing out attendance at certain places, um, this, that, and the other thing, you're gonna have that rep uh, come back at you. In fact, I had a flat tire the other day on the lawnmower is leaking air. And I called up Discount Tire and uh, the guy uh, that takes care of me, super cool dude. And we've been buds for about five years. He was at another store and I called him up hey dude I'm in a pickle he's like dude there's 11 people after you and I'm like dude that's not dude help me like what, what can we do and he goes you know what there's 11 people after you but bring it on in I'll see what I can do I get up there and this is I'm just shooting you guys straight he took uh he personally came out he like said like I'm taking my personal 15 minute break he came out helped me plug my flat tire and I threw him a nice little tip um which was totally extra credit and you know what so all I'm trying to say is that he knew me I knew him and we take care of each other in this town we try to take care of our own right and I, I was just trying to be first class. You know what? He did not have to do that. But he was like, dude, I know time is money for you. I'm burning labor. Let's get you back out there. And that's the thing. If I was up there throwing a fit or thinking short term and not taking care of people, not treating people right and being classy, not schmoozing, not being ingenuine, not trying to get something for nothing, not trying to, uh, uh, you know, try to get more than what I'm, you know, when you go to the yard, tip your people, man. When you go to your local supply place, throw the guy in the Caterpillar uh, a $20, you know, 
throw, throw them a 20 spot. It's not, it's nothing, it's inconsequential to what you're gonna get. And I'm not saying free product or extra mulch or anything like that. Those are nice, those are little like add, add-ons, add you know what I'm saying? Those are those are niceties, those are serendipities, but you treat people right. Most people out there are not getting the time of day of love and respect. And you guys gotta remember that at the end of the day, yes, we're shooting videos, but we're, we're humans. We interact with each other. It's called community and where you live, I want you to be a pillar in your community. If you happen to run for senator or for community office, I want to know, are you going to be the kind of person that people are gonna vote you in, landslide, or are people gonna be 50-50 on their viewpoint and opinion for you? And that is a litmus that I run my life by. It's being hang loose. If I get chewed out, I don't chew people out back, I take it. I take it, I take it, I take it. And then when I can't take it anymore, you know what you do? You take it. Because that's what business owners do. That's what people, I'm not saying get walked on, I'm not saying get demeaned to, but even when it does happen, you stay classy, you apologize, you ask for forgiveness, and you move on. So all things being said, I don't want videos to get construed and taken out of context. One guy was trolling hard on the last channel. You know what? I blocked him. If you don't play nice on my channel, you're going to get blocked. I moderate the comments heavily. I want this to be a safe community for people to plug into, to learn from. There's 14-year-olds to 20-year-olds learning. We click keep it clean we do not swear on this channel for a reason okay and I want you guys to learn the business and have fun I want you guys to learn practical life tips and lessons here it's not just about mowing grass you know most of you guys ask why I don't do mowing vlogs anybody can do a mowing vlog and I'm not putting that down it's just I want to kind of take it a plus one and help you guys out in real life and real practical applications is that is that fair is that something I just I, I'm not an authority on anything okay I'm just like you guys we're all in this together and so I there's times on my video where I just I wear my heart on the sleeve for you guys because I go out there and I want to just help you guys out and this is one of those things where I want you guys to start from day one if you're 15 18 20 years old imagine one day you're gonna be 35 with a wife kids and you're gonna be milling about in your community and you're gonna make friendships and know these people for 15 20 40 years whether you see it that big or you don't it's just perspective okay so uh, it's always hindsight 2020 thank Jesus you know that I started that way because I had some good mentorship and coaching and businesses right but all that being said I want you guys to remember you're a pillar in the community people know your trucks if you're whipping out of gas stations and parking lots and cutting people off they know okay all things being said i appreciate you guys big time this is a little tip of the day hopefully you guys enjoyed it ppe and being a pillar in the community that's the title of this video hopefully you guys enjoyed this one if so leave me a comment down below if this helped if it didn't help no big deal but uh, love you guys big time appreciate you and all that fun stuff in between okay seriously the channel's blowing up you guys are great and uh, i love this community that we're building uh on my channel alone, but also inside the lawn and landscape community with all of you guys. So things are great. Appreciate you guys big time. If you enjoyed it, you guys know the sign off, man. Shoot me a big thumbs up. I do appreciate it. I know every video is like two, 300 likes. And you know what? I don't take that for granted. Um, I'm just trying to pour my heart out and pour back into you guys. All right. This community has been amazing to me and I want to just keep blessing you guys. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe. I'm always doing latest and greatest and tips and ideas and mindset like this and helping you guys grow a successful life, not just a successful lawn care landscaping business. Fair enough. All right, guys, appreciate you big time. Like I said, we'll catch up with you on the next one. Over and out. You guys stay safe. Wear your PPE, wear your safety glasses, look cool, but make sure that, you know what, at the end of the day, you're coming home with everything still attached. Fair enough. All right, guys, love you. Appreciate you. See ya. Bye.